we were struggling farming. You know, we, we were um, just, you know, we were doing okay. It was just barely making ends meet. So we were looking for a way to diversify and do something else. A grad student at Utah State, he had built a maze and it was so popular that he started a consulting company to help other farmers if they were interested. He did a little feasibility study about our location and the demographics and all that and he said, yeah, I think it'd be pretty good in your area. Uh, it, it, it was a good decision. One thing led to another, so the next spring we planted corn and at that time um, I was farming this section here and this was a 30 acre corner out of a center pivot. So we already had the resources, you know, had the equipment to do it, so the initial investment uh, wasn't very much. And we planted 12 acres. Uh, they showed us how to spray out the pattern and the design and we bought a little Morgan building for a concession stand. And um, that was our first year. I think we ended up with somewhere between 17 and 19,000 people. From that, we decided, yeah, we'll try it again. So the next year, uh, we added, I think we did the windmill, and then the next year, the trees, and then we did all the grass. And so um, it's evolved, you know, as we've gone along, and the attendance has kept up with it. And um, <laughs> I, I did not ever dream that we would be here. You know, when, when we started, I thought it'd be a fad. It'd last two or three years, and then, you know, I didn't know anybody would want to continue to come back and walk through a cornfield. We started seeing the same people, you know, over and over, and it. we decided we'd just grow with it. And so back to 2007, at the time, we were farming a lot of acres, and um, we needed to decide one or the other. And so the kids were at the age, uh, where they were wanting to be involved in it and help. And when I was farming, I never saw them. I was gone all the time. And so we just decided this is what we wanted to do. And we got the family involved. And it, it was a godsend for us because uh, I would have missed a lot of years of my kids' life um, if, if we had a, if we had a, continued just farming. And so them being able to, to be a part of it and help and, um, it, Patty and I being able to work together, uh, it, it's, it, it's been a good thing. It takes a lot of time. Uh, you know, other thing is dealing with the public and uh, getting used to that, because normally we have a, pretty much of a solitary lifestyle and then all of a sudden uh, you're dealing with the public. We try to make it family oriented. You know, we, we have families that'll bring their kids out and just drop them off. And we're okay with that. And I guess that's a compliment, you know, that um, we're a safe environment and uh, it, it's, it is family oriented. More than anything, we'd like for people to just put up their cell phones and um, enjoy their family. For a lot of people, it has become a tradition. You, you know, whether it's going out and picking pumpkins or uh, going and see all the lit up pumpkins at night, doing the maze, you know, all the activities that we have. But I think the draw more than anything is it gets people out of urban settings and gets them out on the farm. And there's something within all of us that wants us to get back to our roots. 